Willy, 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 will. Welcome to the fifth annual tournament of friends. I, this is the first time we've done it. Um, it's like Comic Sans sure. with like a drawn happy face. <laughs> 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 Fucking logo. <laughs> uh, <laughs> the happy face is like slightly crooked, so it's like he's got a hair lip. Okay. <laughs> okay, that's kind of interesting. Okay, I'm gonna introduce Toppy, introduce Bot. Ready? Okay, go. Spawning on the top left at Ruscallion Luxury Edition, that's what LE stands for. We have the very hard AI representing Zerg in the red trunks going for a normal build. Looks like he's going to expand normally. I say that too early though, so anything can happen. And his partner, Darth Mufasa, wearing the yellow trunks. And well, I was too fast, I'm so sorry. But in the bottom, we also have the blue hard AI uh, spawning the uh, Terran and moving over to his partner. We have the green Protoss Bronzebeard. Oh, that sick puppy. He went different races, I didn't realize. Yeah, that's one of the first <laughs> things he said. He said he wanted Terran, so. Protoss and Terran, I think are, I think mid to late game, they're the strongest. I think if if you don't if they're not messed with in the early game, like their death ball is the most is like impossible. That's right, George. We can't wait to see that death ball in the late <laughs> game. <laughs> Sorry, that was stupid. <laughs> That's right, George. You fucking cuck. <laughs> okay, Zerg going for the early expands though. Uh, spawning pool gas. Uh, Luke going for the spawning pool. Not getting a gas just yet. Now getting a gas. He might actually get. A quicker third, or is he just gonna drone up a little faster? I'm not entirely sure what the blue Terran's doing. Blue Terran, what is he making? He's, he's making just, a he's marine. He's just making a marine right now. But he got a really late gas. Yeah, and he's, he's not also... expanding. <laughs> yeah. So this is just a dumb build. This is this Terran's just dumb. Anyway, let's, and then... let's hope that it's not the actual like AI number six that's causing issues, and let's just hope it's that was just the build order. Phil stopped building things entirely. What is he doing? Uh, no idea. Oh my god. What the fuck? <laughs> he just... <laughs> he, like, stopped entirely. And then, and then all of a sudden a probe started. I'm like, is he gonna double expand or something? Because <laughs> he was just banking his <laughs> cash while nothing was building. Okay. I like to imagine he's just sitting there going, come on, come on. <laughs> Perfect probe. <laughs> <laughs> At 700 minerals. Right. <laughs> he needs 800 sure. before he can build the next one. I gotta make sure I have enough. Oh, and as I thought, uh, Luke is going for the fast third base. Still on one gas. Probably gonna go quick. Probably gonna go for speed and then layer. Drone up as he, do as he does that, and then we'll go see what kind of tech he goes for after that. Very hard going for the double gas. Single x man probably. Did they not get the speed yet? Going for roaches, okay, that's different. Yeah, I don't think they went in speed yet. I definitely know that they're going for the roaches, as you can see, kind of up there in the production tab. Um, but we'll kind of see how this works out. Getting a couple lings, I guess, for early defense. Yeah, but I'm gonna be honest. I'm, I, imagine just like 10 speed lings with how open this ramp is for the Protoss and Terran. How, long, mm -hmm. how much havoc they can cause by just avoiding the, the front. Yeah. Yeah, they can just make it kind of past the back lines into the mineral, and obviously it can just end the game entirely. Yeah, this stalker can't shoot fast enough. These marines can't move fast enough. Early game Protoss Terran is not very mobile, and I think Zerg could have abused that, but both of them seem to be going Roach, which is fine. They, they're they going for the more uh, power-heavy build, going for the quick two, three bases, and again going into Roach, probably Roach Ravager, both getting their layers now. Yeah, it looks like we do have the blue Terran also uh, building a CC up on the high ground, potentially getting ready to take an expansion. What so, a hopefully... quivering pussy. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> yeah, build it on the low ground. You gotta make uh... sure it's vulnerable. So yeah, the Terran's playing super safe. Only went double racks, doesn't have a factory. Did he get, did his AI get lowered or something? Because this is, this is too safe. He's getting- I honestly don't know. I think they're all, no, they're both very hard. I wonder what build it random picked, but he's going double tech lab, so he's gonna get that uh, quick stim and either concussive or uh, combat shields. Uh, still haven't lifted his natural yet. Phil going, still playing a little safe, going for the two gate, 
getting his forge and uh, Robo Bay. So let's see, is he gonna make? He's making Immortals now. Is he gonna go to Colossus or Disruptor? I don't even know if he really messes with Disruptor, honestly. I've actually never really seen him do Disruptor play, so I'm actually can kind of bank that he'll probably do maybe some sort of cheeky Colossus play. He also very well could be getting it just for the upgrades for the Observers. That's true. If he wants to play extra safe, which he should not, because mm -hmm. fucking early Colossus, early Disruptor, he can be poking right now. He can he can get the Warp Prism. He can get. He's he's already safe. Uh, Terran is expand. What? Yeah. Um... <laughs> In this plot twist, uh, Terran has already expanded, but he still has a CC on the high ground. <laughs> Interesting. He even went out of his way to make it an orbital. I okay. guess he really just wants the extra scans? I'm gonna be honest, I think or Phil got fueled? a bad draw here. As yeah. of now, I feel like he's got a bad draw. The I Terrans almost... working, he's upgrading and everything, but this is so slow for something that didn't happen. For nothing, for something that didn't happen early, you know? Yeah, this is actually very similar to what my AI was doing, so I wonder if it was literally just the build order that was kind of screwing with him. It very well also could be the fact that it was um, the fact that his AI was playing Pertos. I don't know. Oh, that's true. That's true. Because right now, the, definitely getting that Colossus, like I said. I don't know what setting the AI build was set, but he's mm -hmm. doing a slightly different build. Um, but not that slightly. Like, for some, this is what they do. They go, whatever they can get the quick stim, quick combat shield, and then... But this, as opposed to the one that was with you, um, they went heavy Marine Marauder without getting medbacks for a long time. This guy at least has his siege tanks, but this is also just a more defensive build compared to before. There's no early push. He might do a two base, but with double engineering bay, that's probably not the case. Yeah, it's definitely weird. Well, that's definitely have to keep an eye on this, see how it plays out. Luke going for this fourth, and same thing with his AI, going for the heavy upgrades, he has a Lurker Den, which that's pretty sick, I hate those. Getting safety spine crawlers in the rear, that's fine, but staying on two bases. AI I'm gonna go ahead and let him, yeah, I'm Whoa. gonna go ahead and let him know that if you hit Alt-C, uh, you can kind of tell the AI what to do. That's actually what I was doing kind of towards the end of the game. I know oh. Alt-A will move the AI army, um, you can tell your AI where exactly to expand. Mm -hmm. um, like where my guy kept throwing his expansion down and then uh, Phil stopped him and then the AI stopped him, like up here kind of oh. um, next to the Terran or anything like that. I actually did eventually tell him to move down there just so he was out of the way and didn't have to worry about losing his base. So you, could you tell him to like attack one base while you attack another type deal? Um, I don't know if you can necessarily say like attack the label for the command is just army so oh, okay. it's literally just like hey move your army move here there and then hopefully so, they'll actually yeah <laughs> yeah so that's what i would do so i actually as i walked into like the front gate i literally sent his like my army to the front gate and i kind of went around and i was like i'm gonna take care of some of these expansions real fast mm -hmm. now this roach ravager as great as it is to have this many bases and this many roach ravager they're going to be able to max out really fast on roach ravager whether they can break the Terran and the Protoss is why well, I'm not too sure yet. As long as Phil keeps making Colossus, make Colossus! Um, and he keeps, uh, Terran keeps building siege tanks, make siege tanks. Uh, they should be fine with their AoE because Roach Ravager just doesn't last long. Even with these lurkers, unless he can control the lurkers to charge the front without losing too much, this... Hmm. Mm, yeah, Zerg, I don't know. This is, this is like a very middle ground build, and I don't see anyone being too aggressive too soon, so I don't know what to expect. I feel like they're both playing it obviously relatively safe, like no one has yet to attack. I don't even think, there obviously there's been scouts gotten into their base, but I don't think anyone's really ever thrown combat units at each other yet. Yeah, no. We got SCV scout on the, on the Zerg creep, spreading that pretty well. Just Luke. <laughs> <laughs> yes, the AI is entirely broken. Well, maybe not entirely broken. It's broken in certain aspects. I was going to say, I guess programming Zerg AI to always creep is kind of tough since it's like the only different mechanic. Yeah. Looks like Phil's going to go ahead and push out, but his AI is not coming with him. Oh. I'm trying to figure out what's going on with it. Oh. It unseaged, so I don't know. 
Oh, we'll Unseeged two of the three tanks he has for... No reason, just sitting there still. Yeah, you know, as you do. Bill's clearing up the creep, though. It seems like if he has to, he can easily recall back to base. He can just run. Clearing mm. this creep is qu quite good. And having that stalker at that watchtower there is also going to give him a little bit more of a heads up. Yep, yep. He can see this little Roach Ravager force on the right, and he can tell that, oh, he, he's try Luke's trying to go for a surround. No luck there, thanks to that Stalker. I guess he's just trying to check to see exactly, I guess, what, <clears throat> how big the army was, uh, even though he had the Watchtower, but, you know, maybe he uh, had something cheeky going on. Maybe Luke, going for the, Luke going for the push out now, as the Corruptor's ready for the two Colossus, but, oh my god, he's going to lose these Immortals and these Adepts. Where no, is the not. Terran? <laughs> he's just Karen's like watching. still at home. Yeah. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> still, still trying to like drag that tank with him to the front lines. Use your uh, death ball to push go ahead and say yes. them. <laughs> Karen getting their third base, which, by the way, it's still. <laughs> it's like a micro. It's, or, it's like a macro orbital. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, man. <laughs> He has a macro orbital. I mean, it makes sense, I guess, but to make it your natural, to make it your first expansion, kind of a strange choice. Um, also, he has a fifth base coming, so that's cool too. Uh, Luke coming honestly, in with the Roach Ravager Corruptor now, though. I would actually absolutely love to see Luke do some sort of Nidus play in the back of uh, the blue base. Because um, so his overlord does have vision of that high he ground. He does. Yeah, where, so the, where, the, could, yeah. where the vents are. No one, you can't yep. see behind those vents, unless you have a building there. Yep, and you'd hear it, and that's about it. Well, the Terran's doing something now. I think it's because they were mainly at the front entrance <laughs> of the base, but yeah, obviously, you know, base. hey. Hey, they yeah. did something. It's like I was talking to Phil last game, uh, when we are watching you and Luke play, is that the AI doesn't really move out, they don't really attack anything, unless they are absolutely threatened. Yeah, um, they have their first or, timing, and then that's it. Yeah, or you blatantly tell them, hey, go go do the thing. Yeah, Which it I almost think looks like that's what Luke might have done with his uh, It looks AI. that so, because he, yeah, this red army was not moving at all. He realizes yep. I can't take on this by myself. With this much Corruptor, oh, these lurkers. That, Piper pull. that was sick. That was beautiful. This is still a big army. You don't, you don't want to fight with these sea tanks in the back, this Colossus. There's, oh, but Luke just has so much units. It's not gonna be oh, enough. Oh, but though. it's not enough! Oh wow, did you see the Terran actually put workers in his PF? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I saw that. It was actually really cool. So the and the and the and the Colossus is still alive. So this is what I was worried about though, is this army defensively, like, it's gonna be perfectly fine. And as Roach Ravager, as the game gets longer, this is n it's not a good composition. These Vipers are doing work, mm -hmm. these infestors are doing work, but when you have the the AI kind of going for quicker tech but not good econ and then throwing your army away with his like yeah it kind of sets you back now true true yeah so it actually looks like phil's gonna go for uh, some uh void rays one for so he's got two gates up already he's gonna go for a third stargate but definitely they have about three void rays mm -hmm. per stargate queued up Void Ray f against the Corruptor is very good. They're anti-armor mm. units, they move very fast, they charge up very fast. And my only problem is that Phil is still on two bases. That's kind of an yep. issue. He can't... Protoss can't afford to remake this army. He can chase it all he wants, but honestly, like, if Luke were to just turn around and even even, even, even if he doesn't win, uh, Phil won't be able to remake any of that. Right, yeah, just because he doesn't have the proper econ right now. I think that's going to be the the driving force and what might be a loss for. Oh, this. Oh, never mind. He's well, filled with the balls, just fucking poking like it's nothing <laughs> by himself. Though it doesn't matter. Generally curious as to why Luke did pull back when uh, he had a he, small army there. Probably I think he was tempted least. not to jump off creep. I think he. I think he knows he can lose this and he doesn't want to risk it. Fair. That actually doesn't make a whole lot of point. I don't play a whole lot of Zerg. What but. is the Terran bringing over a very small unit? I don't know. What, did you see? The Terran's army was in its own base. Yeah. Uh, reacting yeah. to the Overseer, I believe. 
Okay, oh, you know, well, you gotta you gotta kill the overseer because if gotta not, kill the overseer. He, your if, place if, will just be filled with changelings. Yeah. And you Phil fighting that. by himself, he's gonna lose his entire army. There goes the void rays. Oh no. There goes the yep. And he stayed it's there. Too he many just, corruptors. He stuck around, and then the Terran, no, not, not doing shit. Yeah, that's gonna be a GG from Phil. Phil finally taking his uh, third expansion. I want to see how uh, what the how the how the Terran's gonna hold up. I know Luke should not fight into the Terran. He can still lose this. I think he should just make sure he stays on three bases, basically mm -hmm. two bases now. But the Terran still has too much. Unless they're fighting together, uh, I don't think those are can push this yet. Ooh, free liberator though. Gotta love those free liberators. Buy one, get one free. There it is. There's the other one. There's the other one. Terran chasing, sieging up on the corner where there's nothing to hit. What a weirdo. Now, Phil did say GG, but he is still building with his third up here in this uh, top corner. A little bit of an early GG, then. He can still be building units in general right now. He has a lot of minerals. Unless he... Well, he didn't leave, did he? No, he's, he's still building. Okay. As far as I'm aware, he's still in. Oh my god, that's a lot of pain. He's getting popped. And Luke just continuing to expand. Needs to continue spreading his creep. I think that's one of the issues right now is that as soon as he tries to attack this, as long as Terran is sieged up off creep, he should be fine against all these banalings. Yeah. <clears throat> He'll come in and kind of clear out a lot of those creep tumors. Definitely did help mm -hmm. uh, with at least the mobility, pushing him back, keeping him on that side of the map. Yeah, it threw off it threw off Luke's flow. I, I, I totally would expect to see the creep continuing to spread, even if it slowed down. But uh, once it stopped, he forgot. Now Terran versus Luke here, and he's not going to be sieged up. Luke can just jump on this right now, and he does. Here it goes all these siege tanks not going to be sieged up, and they're just going to explode from all these banalings. Ultra is getting killed immediately, and Luke actually doesn't commit. Phil coming in with a small little strike force, kind of helping out. Those of the day. doing work. <clears throat> Slow void rays. But the Terran pushing on the creep, is this a good idea? No, no it's not. That was dumb as shit. He doesn't have near enough. Oh, late siege for the siege things, it's not yep. gonna really matter. A lot of problems there. Got a little cocky, AI. Guess that was programmed into you. Phil's gonna go ahead and fall back. He may or may not lose these stalkers, but it kind of depends. Oh, I the fall beast. back. He's trying to, yeah, trying to take out some of That's them. That's enough void rays to kill everything on top, but these stalkers need don't need to be here. <clears throat> he did manage to kill all the corruptors and the ultralist that was in there. He's going to lose all the stalkers. Once again, the Terran not doing those. shit to help. Coming in. <laughs> <laughs> and they actually beat this army, and their econ wasn't even touched. Yeah, that's actually really impressive. I think Phil just needs to, like, triple gateway and start pumping out Zealot Void Ray. There he goes, building four gateways already. Yep. If he's just building Void Ray and, like, Zealots to spend his money, he's he, he has a decent army, as long as the Terran, who is also just constantly building. Oh, yeah, <clears throat> I think definitely he should get charged. He might even get charged. Who knows, though? But the Luke, charge would definitely help, I think Luke but. is just choosing to fight these battles on his own too. He like mm -hmm. the the AI could be doing something. <clears throat> Maybe in an attempt strike to force of uh, void rays down in the bottom. Oh, they can kill these hatches in an instant. Oh yeah, goes for the There's extractor no... though. That's always important. No detection, no spines. Ooh, corruptor no popping army. out. And yeah, there's the one corruptor. Yeah. Nothing can stop these. Nothing can stop them. Now, Luke, has, Luke having the baby army now, not really, he doesn't have the basis to really remax on something that he would like to remax on. He has plenty of gas, but not enough minerals. And the very hard AI is just sitting pretty. There, he's on the move. Yeah. <laughs> and he's moving back. <laughs> uh, Terran AI what? maxed out, almost maxed out. Uh, and Phil's, Sky Army is looking more and more dreadful. Yeah, gonna get I think this definitely, 
definitely call on that early GG <clears throat> was probably a, definitely maybe a maybe a potential mind trick. <laughs> Luke thought he had it won, and then he lost his army twice, not fighting with the the very hard AI, and now Phil able to he's already, this is gonna be the third base he knocks out. Look, he's and he's building zealots. He's doing everything. Yeah, this army that Red has the very hard very hard AI is not gonna be able to do anything really to those. Oh, he used the uh, whatever the fuck the the thing that kills stuff in the, the air. Yeah, the parasitic, the parasitic bomb. Parasitic bomb. I don't know. Yeah, is that was bomb. Bomb? No, I don't know. That sounds. Weird. I just. I play StarCraft, I don't know. <laughs> I don't pay attention to the upgrades, I just play StarCraft. Battle off in the bottom, the Terran, uh, he had an Losing army. Losing it, <laughs> he lost everything. I think both players realizing there's another player on each team. All these Void Rays doing work, oh. but without Micro, there's just too many Corruptors. Yeah, oh. he's not able to actually take them out. Depressing. If he would have had a lot more stalkers, definitely could have helped out with hey, that. Hey, there's nothing to hit these zealots though. Yes. So it looks like oh, he's gonna get all work. those free drones. Ooh, free ultra. Yeah. Thor. These Thors. These void rays. Like, what does Luke have? He doesn't have anything to really fight this. He's building roaches now. That's not gonna do anything. Terran constantly building units. He'll be building roaches because he might be... Is he Castar? No, he's not Castar, so yeah, why would he be building roaches? Okay, so here comes the very hard AI, though. Let's see if he can take this on. There's not a good spread. There's no siege, and all the Void Rays are gone. Phil does have a couple Zealots in there, but I really don't think it's going to make a huge no, difference. No, it's not going to make a difference at all. There was just too much from the AI on Luke's side, and that's kind of what he was waiting on. Like, Once they finally work together, they're able to push this off with ease. Yeah, you really need to have both of those armies attack at the same time. The AI running back, though, even though they were winning. Are indecisive, but, you know, the Roach is doing work, killing. Gonna kill this base with five SCVs on it. It's like a house burning with a family in it. Okay, they just forget about it. Whatever. They decided to... Attack the... Refinery, which is definitely a weird choice. I would have kept attacking the command center. It's okay. I guess he, he he saw that the children were in there and decided to just no. You know, I'm not a monster. I'm just an alien. <laughs> Luke, a father of two, decides <laughs> not to sacrifice a family. <laughs> <He's>, he <laughs> saw his own faces in that <laughs> in that CC. <laughs> it's like that could be me. <laughs> oh, Phil definitely could have won that. Three void rays, three corruptors. More so, the corruptors were super hurt. Hurt in first Why order. did he pull that? Yeah. All these bases are PFs though. There's nothing really to stop. It's it's kind of a match between the AI at the moment. Luke's trying to build back up, doing what he can on the harassment end, rebuilding his bases, while the AI on both sides just kind of maxing out and taking the engagements they can. Um, AI doing well, but every time the Zerg AI attacks, completely demolishes the army, but then he tries to go for, tries to hit a base. Oh, and there we go, he actually killed a base well, with all the children in it, that's fine. The, the hard AI does not care about All the these meters gonna melt, that's gonna be interesting. Oh, so many low HP Thor's uh, ultras, not gonna be enough. Ah. Oh. Uh, looks like very hard AI is coming in with the 23, almost 24 minute battle cruiser. Oh, there you uh, go. Don't know about you, but um, I think that's pretty damn late. That's a sign of a bad player if I've ever seen one. Oh yeah, if you can't get your battle cruiser out in under five minutes and then GG and quit, you're a terrible player. This liberator doing work by dying, and the viper being wasting a parasitic bomb. Whatever. Uh. Phil has the bottom X Men, has his Void Ray Phoenix army. Very scary. Can definitely take on all these corruptors. Um, Viper Force, while we have Ultralis for the Zerg. Where is. Luke's army is just these roaches, is it? Wow. Oh, uh, let's take a look. Yeah, he's got a couple roaches, a couple corruptors, a couple lings. That's yeah. really about it. Yeah, and Phil, I think Phil's. Like, he his economy is not as great, but how do you how do you fight a Void Ray Phoenix army when you have a handful of roaches and a handful of corruptors now? Yeah. And Phil's gonna take down another base. Oh, decides not to. Whatever. 
So it does look like every single base on the map is actually taken, if not being build, or built right now. And if I didn't want to kill myself. <laughs> <laughs> this game has gone on far longer than I thought it was. I can almost guarantee you that when this is all said and done, uh, if we watch the replay, Phil would have GG'd at it. Probably about <laughs> the halfway mark. Oh man. Phil realizing he's still in this game. AI Terran takes down another red base, going for another one on the bottom. But all these bases are all pretty much mined out besides the 12 o'clock and the corner bases. Mm -hmm. We're running low. And once again, the Terran's going to fight on creep. I don't think this is a good decision. He can siege up on this base, but like I said, this base doesn't really have any value to it anymore. Loses the BC. What a noob. Mutas are dying, Corruptors are not doing much, but here comes the army from both players. And you notice at the bottom, really wipe that up. Yep. Void Ray Phoenix is taking down one of the AI's bases as well. But what uh, what does the Terran have back at home? Just a few siege tanks. He, his macro actually hasn't been up to par. He didn't really have the infrastructure to keep producing. Look how much money the AI has on the Terran side. Devilish, he's floating pretty much a good, good chunk of gas. Yeah, where... he, he expanded and just didn't really build the infrastructure. And now he's going to be slowly trying to bring this back. Luke has Broodlords. I don't know what he thinks he's going to accomplish with those. But... Oh, he can poke. Poke, poke until those Void Rays come. But there's a lot of Corruptors here. This many Phoenix, though... Do they have the upgrade? I don't think they have the upgrade, but Phoenix they is do still... Not. They don't have the upgrade. Phoenix is still kicking some Corruptor ass. So I actually learned the other day, and I think you were the one that showed me this. Uh, they changed Phoenix, color. when they have, yeah, when they have the upgrade, their lasers yep. turn from blue to purple. Yep. It looks dope. Yeah, this... This, <laughs> this Voidry Phoenix army actually demolishes whatever Luke is building with Broodlord Corruptor. And as long as AI sticks to the same... Same ultra. <laughs> Luke, Luke going the for the GG question mark. Uh, yeah. Phil with the mind games. I'm just gonna say it was the mind games. <laughs> you thought. Phil going for the mind game. <laughs> That's great. And yeah, all we have. Ah, man, there's really like only four, five useful bases maybe six useful bases on on the entire map right now and it's just oh, it's mainly these corner right. bases got another phoenix oh. void ray fight you know all all that phil wins phil wins as long as oh no the parasitic bombs though look at all of them falling down that's all it needed yep. all it what yep oh. i was gonna say all they need is a fungal or a parasitic bomb and two i think it was two well-placed parasitic bombs completely mm -hmm. demol demolishes the Golden Armada. Phil has a couple of probes kind of just chilling out at his... I saw uh, that. Nap. <laughs> yeah, he definitely could send him back to his third and kind of get that uh, econ back up and running. Phil's but still kind of floating. He is, yeah, he is building more Void Rays, so... He can build more Void Rays. More. He can still build Zealots, too. Honestly, like, yep. if he's fighting, just build Zealots and attack the, attack the bottom left base, attack the top right base. I think... I think you gotta use your minerals, and that's a good way to use them to keep them off your your army when you're trying to max out on Void Ray and Phoenix. And Luke with the run Luke by, team. on the top right. Oh yeah, trying to get any and all work done. Cleaning He's up gonna be able to go ahead and bases. take out a couple of them. Yeah. Very nice. Turn coming over there to help. But there's nothing to help with. Nothing to help with though. Just what do we have? look at the upgrades. Luke doesn't have a whole lot of upgrades for his ground for us. He really only has like the uh, two range attack and the one air attack. No, uh, he's just been going back and forth with these battles, and uh, he hasn't been able to focus on his tech. He had the ultra list for a bit, but after losing him, his economy has yet to come back. Oh, he has. He, if you look look at Luke's bases, he has nothing. Literally has nothing. He was long distance mining where this Terran is. Yeah, that actually does make sense. Kill the, yeah, but say yeah. I, I saw it. I, like that was this is hilarious. It. This is this is Luke's mining. Essentially, that, Phil, that it has to be Luke's only base. Phil doesn't have an army, but it. well, Phil does have an army. That's a thing. Like his economy, he still has essentially 
two bases? Yeah, he has two bases still. He can still build shit. Yeah, Luke's looking at his army is looking at about six corruptors, which looks like they're coming in the middle right there. Zerg that army is, hitting the is top though. Whole entire army. Yeah. No, yeah, that's it. It's just these six corruptors trying to do any as many mi as much micro as he can, seeing as he really can't afford to do anything. He's just getting one upgrade. There's no more bases. I honestly think he should like, even though it might have him lose, like take one of his own players' a uh, bases or something, like like taking yeah. this base, like taking the uh, this base or something. Either he or, should just or, be mining from like yeah, his just, base. Yeah, just send his something. send his workers down here. Take them do long distance mining. Get as much yeah. as he can in the short time that he can because he's his econ has literally just died. Yeah, both e and both AI are actually just floating now because they they have the economy they need. They haven't been losing their armies too too much. They've been always fighting at nearly maxed out, so they've been as efficient as possible. Besides whether fighting on creep or not being sieged up, or really late parasitic bombs. I think that's going to be the driving force. Like, if, if the parasitic bombs and the fungal growth, like, hit this death ball, then the Zerg AI wins. But as right, long as these other bases... Yes, exactly. As long as these other bases aren't touched, and the Terran keeps building, and Phil keeps oh, building... Oh, Luke wasn't paying attention. Oh, he no. Wasn't paying attention. No. This is all he had. That's everything. Actually, I don't know. And it's probably because all these drones on the bottom are fighting all these, these SCVs and they win the battle. But we have the oh. Phoenix coming in now with the Void Rays, killing all these drones. I don't know exactly what's going through Luke's head, but if you just look at the production tab right now, he's building seven Ultralisks. That's all he has? He didn't have the money for it, so I'm wondering if he was Did like, he take money? Know, eh. I think, I think he, he just, might have took money. Yeah, look how much little, how little money. Oh my oh, god. Yeah. Luke pulling Luke. a fast one. <laughs> <laughs> Luke coming in with the sneaky plays of the whole, hey, let me see your credit card for a little bit. I'm just going to make a few purchases. Oh my god, I don't know if this battle's going on. The Phoenix Void Ray is still alive. And I Planet think Utis. that might be, yeah, that's going to be what causes uh, Luke and like the Zerg, Zerg team to lose, essentially. Yeah, there's too much from the Terran. Phil is still, still with a healthy army. Getting Tempest now. Luke pretty much coming up here to say, I hate you, I want your bases dead, leave me alone. Yep, with the, these seven Ultras can definitely do work. They just, you can't lose them. This is all you got now. You have these mm -hmm. Corruptors and these Ultras. Is that enough Corruptors to kill the Void Ray Phoenix army? Because they're coming in now, here come the Phoenix. And like, with good micro, the Phoenix technically win. I really just want to see him pick up some uh, Ultras with those Phoenix. He can't. He can't? They, oh, no. good. They're considered Colossus units, like Colossal. So Thor's, oh. Thor's Ultras and Colossus can't be picked up. That's my whole entire day just ruined. All of those... It'd be cool if like you just needed like four or three to do it instead. <laughs> mm. <Yeah. laughs> kind of like or a medvac where it like takes up one, but you need more Phoenix to do it. Yeah. And the Terran army fighting in the middle of the map against these Ultras and Corruptors is going to lose most of it, but these Phoenix clearing I mean, up the Corruptors. Up the, Void Ray's yep, coming there in. There is Void Ray. And here comes Ooh. the rest of the Terran army on the top. Where are our supplies at? Yeah, it's just the Terran. It's Terran and Phil's air army. It's actually pretty impressive. When did Phil get a Tempest? I must have missed that. He built one Tempest, might have been by accident, but it was great. All right, now here's the question. Will Phil leave? <laughs> or is he going to stay in? Well, it's technically one, right? I, I mean, because of the early GG. Yeah. <laughs> Where he stayed in. <laughs> yeah, we were commenting on that. That, that, was, like, really funny. that had to have been the worst thing to cast over. <laughs> it was oh, hilarious. It was actually really fun. <laughs> it, was, it made no <laughs> sense. Like, both of your AIs were doing really weird shit. And then, Luke, I felt like you were just kind of going Rambo. And there was points where, like, you could have won by yourself. But then you kept kind of going for it when the Zerg, like, if he just helped you, you could have won. Like, so many times. Yeah, I kind of I kind of stopped playing once I realized that he wasn't going to do anything with me. I'm like, all right. Well, I actually even tried pinging. I'm like, come on, let's go attack. Let's do this. <laughs> oh, you couldn't control him? I don't know. Like, other than pinging, I'm not sure how you get him to attack with you. 
So after that, I was just like, all right, I'm gonna. If you die. hit Alt C, you get commands for your AI. I did not know that. I, I typed it in the party chat. You probably didn't see it. Um, but yeah, if you hit Alt C, it'll give you commands for your AI. You can tell them where to put their army, where to expand, where to scout, where to defend, things like that. Oh man, C Phil is probably using that up. I didn't know. I think we yeah, actually I, thought we thought you were using it. Yeah, because uh, Phil no, seemed to yeah he, he seemed to be able to control his his friend at least a little bit. No, the Zerg the Zerg army that I just kept putting in his army at the natural and attacking at the strangest times. Yeah, and and like he you, he had everything you needed too. Like th he had some sick parasitic bombs, some fungal growths, but he would always be fighting by himself, or he'd already be dead. And yeah, there would be, and then he would fight the Terran army off creep and lose his army. Mhm. Mm yeah. And then Phil with the early GG, and then expands and continues to make Void Ray Phoenix, and they actually do work. Yeah, I should have played Wing Hydra against that. <laughs> well, honestly, like, like Battle Cruiser. All, all you needed was your friend's AOE. Like, like if he helped out, like he would have been able to completely demolish the uh, the air army. Well, it was it was the Terran that I, I couldn't break at first. And I'm like, all right, well. <laughs> yeah, he, they were. Yeah, he was playing yeah. very defensively. I think I think if you guys just focus on making sure they didn't expand, like it might have been okay. But I feel yeah. like. I feel like everyone was just trying to go for a battle instead of exp instead of harassing until later later in the game. And then I didn't realize until like halfway through that I could request resources from the, the AI. Yeah, we, we noticed also that. saw that too. I'm like, he's probably got like fifteen thousand. Like, how things. is he building seven ultras all of a sudden? <laughs> yeah, that was, that was actually really funny. So that that is something that Phil wasn't doing. I didn't even know. I didn't even think about that. Now we yeah, now I have all this knowledge for the next game in case like I get <laughs> I'm in a spot. Phil's still going through. He's got Zerg has three bases left, but two of them are empty, and one of them yeah. is still forming. He's really just still got to kill any and all of the fences. Or, I think at least the workers. Yeah, I don't think the, the AI will be able to counter both the, the nah, Terran and... AI has no mining now, and just has a gas bank, but can't spend it on anything. He lost all of his tech. Well, pretty much all of his tech. Yeah, most Fight of with tech. the drones! Fight with the drones! He is building one creep tumor, though. Oh, it finished somewhere. Actually, he's on he's on one base. Why isn't he left yet? Um, that's a good question. I think it's because he has this. Technically. <laughs> and I, I mean, because I know, I don't think Luke's buildings count towards the AI. No, it shouldn't. He's taking the empty expand. It's good. It's gonna be a forward PF. Well, he he wants those extra 365 minerals. Yeah, with that what is he's got, he can build another base where there is also empty. And I really wish I would have known about the AI commands. Like I didn't see that in chat at all. Oh, it's it's. There's also a little uh, icon on the right of the display. Yeah, I probably just didn't look at it. I wonder if Phil actually did see it too. Like if he saw that you can do the commands. He might have, or he might have at least overheard us. I don't know if he muted your stream or not, but uh, when we were watching you and Luke play, um, he did say that he completely forgot that the stream was open. <laughs> yeah, why isn't this guy left yet? I do think it's funny that um the, these two V2s with the AI. There it is. Make for some pretty good casting. Yeah, it's pretty fun. <laughs> 